at Marvel Studios' first 10 years. Rising, which was new. I don't know if you guys have seen this in person yet. It's available at Target now, but really <coughs> fun. You know, 11-inch uh, scale dolls. We've got new chimichangas in the back. Into the Spider-Verse, which was at San Diego, but that line's out now. But I think what you probably are most interested in here is what we have on the table. A lot of great reveals and some new talking points and some of the things like the vehicles. So we can just kind of get started. We've been going through just everything on the table and then lots of time for questions afterwards. So yeah. Bobby, why don't you kick us off with our Professor X and Deadpool. Sure. There. So this is our Riders line, extension of the line that's out now. These are for spring 2019. You did see them at Comic-Con, but they were sans a few uh, Easter egg pieces. So we thought we'd give you a little extra here. So Professor X comes with the Cerebro helmet and cool uh, telepathic effect here, which does remove from the helmet if you don't want to have it on there. And Deadpool comes with a cool sticker sheet. So now you can customize your scooter with very fun uh, bumper stickers, very Deadpool-esque. So you can see on this one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so you get a chance. To Take a look at them, uh, very funny stuff. Uh, and then everyone's scooter will be different, which as we know is big with you guys, customize, customizability. And then keeping with the X vein, we have, uh, we showed a few of this wave at Comic-Con, uh, Gambit, Blink, uh, Skullbuster, and now we have Forge, and the builder figure for this wave, which is Caliban. The last group reminded me too that the Weapon X that we showed at Canada Fan Expo is also in this Caliban wave. And then there will be a few more characters to round that out, which we'll be revealing at a future date. Well, we should go back yeah. to the vehicles with oh, your special little... Uh, that's right, I forgot something. We thought there was enough in that pack with those vehicles. You guys would be cool with that, right? You thought that was a pretty good offering? Yeah. We thought maybe just squeeze a little bit extra in there. So. These sets will each come with an extra head each, not for the ca the characters of Deadpool and Professor X, but you'll be able to make other characters, such as Hydra Bob. <laughs> oh, nice. So this set will come with a Hydra Bob head that you can put onto our Hydra Soldier body. Hopefully you picked those up yep. in the two-pack uh, Troop Builder set last year. Some Hydra bodies. And then uh, we have that same year, we have a spider wave with a big guy in a suit so we thought, who can, who's a big guy in a suit? Oh, Shadow King is a big guy in a suit. <laughs> Perfect. So this head will come with Professor X, and it fits on the Kingpin body. So nice little extras for these vehicle waves, so make sure you pick them up. You guys dig these, these waves, these vehicle characters? Absolutely. Very nice, man. We know, we know Charles was a little overdue. We're glad to finally get him out there. So quite a few people predict the uh, Shadow King on that body. Did good they? Job. Good job, yeah. Oh, wow. Well, that's nice. Did you leak that? <laughs> I did not leak it. No, as soon as, uh, as, soon as uh, you guys showed that, a lot of people were saying you could use that body for, uh, for Shadow King. So. Interesting. Perfect. Well, hopefully those people, when they see it, are Brilliant like, Brilliant minds think alike. Exactly. 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 Right. So now uh, up front here, we have a two-pack that will be coming out in 2019. This is uh, Arnim Zola and Supreme Leader Hydra Captain America from the Secret War line. Nice update to Arnim. That was an old builder figure from back in the 2013 era um, with an updated you know, paint job, new head, new uh, graphic there for the face. Yeah. And that, so that two-pack, it's a two-pack, right? It'll be available for pre-order at 4 p.m. when the embargo lifts. So I don't know if we made that announcement, but... Which two-pack is that? This, the this Hydra two-pack. Oh, okay. So all these photos, right, we ask that uh, you hold back until 4 p.m. until sharing them. But when you can do that, that will be available for pre-order on GameStop and EntertainmentEarth.com. Oh, not Hasbro Toy Shop, huh? Nope. That's going to be a fan channel item for next year. So yeah. the next two pack? Yeah, we can go over to the next two pack. Uh, this will be a Craven's Last Hunt two pack. So you get classic Craven, new head, new deco, and a black costume Spider Man with an alternate beat up Peter head. So a nice little two pack commemorating that storyline. And right next to them is another big reveal for us is Better Ray Bill. 
We know that's a fan favorite that you guys have been wanting for some time. And then right behind them is the Spider Wave for Spring 2019 that we showed at Comic Con. Uh, these are production versions of this wave. So there's a, a few you haven't seen yet, but you get Kingpin as the builder figure. And then our last reveals for this event are in the center here. So we knew we were missing a couple members of the Black Order. So we had, you know, Thanos, Call of Obsidian, Proxima Midnight, and we said, well, we have to finish out the team, right? So we got new versions of Corvus Clave and Ebony Ma as they were seen in Infinity War to complete your team from that film. What do you think? No, I didn't hear. How are these going to be? Uh, these are single card. You did not say how they were. Oh, okay. Going to be. <laughs> we're just going to say 2019, based on their Infinity War designs, Corvus and Ebony coming soon. You guys need to figure out how to throw snake eyes in here somehow. In the Marvel. Legends this is a like Marvel town. <laughs> yeah, well, they were. I mean, how many issues of Marvel were they? In? True. Under Marvel. Right. Yeah. Let's do a crossover. It's like the Transformer thing he did. Yeah, right. like who doesn't want to... Well, you're talking to the right guy. guy. If there was one, you person. are talking to one of the biggest Joe fans <clears throat> on the planet. So. Gotcha. I guess you don't want to... Oh, I didn't say... Licensing agreements are not, say not in anything. line with that. Anything is possible. That's our... Uh, motto for the sweet. Hello. Hey, text me. Cool. Sorry. So you're saying the embargo is on this two pack specifically? Yeah, on everything. everything. All of it. Yeah. On everything. Yep. Yeah. I mean, okay. Some, yeah, text me. Text me. Text me. Yeah. And then Bobby and I are stopping by Marvel's booth at Javits at 2.45 for their live stream and we, we carved out two special reveals just for them, so tune into those. Tune into that live stream to see it, but then we'll have official images on from the PR outreach. Okay. <clears throat> you guys are pretty quiet. What do you think? Hey, more Marvel Legends is always good. <laughs> it's just a busy work day. And obviously stuff planned for the movies coming out next year. Anything for Miss or uh, Captain Marvel? So we, um, there was a pre-order for four of the movie figures, right, that, that were unveiled. So okay. it was Captain Marvel, Nick Fury, uh, Star Force Commander, and Talos. So Any that is a wave. More to come, more more characters in that wave, and then the the comic inspired Cree Sentry is the building figure in that wave, which we revealed in uh, Mexico. Uh, so yeah. Living Laser and uh, is that part of the? They are not. So there has been some mis there you know some speculation. So Nighthawk yep. and Living Laser, which oh. were revealed, are Good. part of another wave. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I'm late. That's all right. The build a figure. Right? A little uh, longer walk from here. Yes. Yeah, it's That's crazy. Right. Yeah, we just uh, we just went through all the the reveals that are on the table cool. here. Uh, if anyone told you, we got uh, there's an embargo until four o'clock. Okay. So it's not close anything until four. But if we got any questions about what's on the table, we'll go through it again. Cool. Move these around. Is that right? Sure. Yep. Yeah. So what's the deal with uh, Corvus here? Is this uh, all new parts? All or? new figure. Corvus is all new parts. It looks great. Corvus and Ebony are both and all new figures. Both all new, huh? And they're all big. They're all, you know. Yeah, a lot taller yeah, than your standard Legends figure. Oh, well, yeah, they were big dudes in the movie, right? Sure, yeah.
plus X. So can you can you break these down for me one more time as far as what which uh, comes with what? Sure. So Professor X and Deadpool are part of our riders assortment. Okay. These will be out. So that'll be like wave two, I guess, this, of the this, riders. This is wave one Sorry, of, of, yeah, of 2019. Mm -hmm. Then okay. these two come with them for the heads. And then you have okay. So the additional heads will come. Additional with heads come. Then comes with Deadpool. Yep. And Shadow King Shadow comes King. with Deadpool. Yep. 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 Marvel is unveiling the impact images of this these 19 riders on Saturday, and then we can have those images available to you as well. So you and then you'll see, you know, the, the extra heads and how they're all packed out. But it's in the same package as like Ghost Rider and Black Widow mm -hmm. this year. Attached to the helmet, can it, it can be removed. It can be removed. Yep. Nice. So the the Shadow King head was actually a uh, a suggestion from our our great partner Jesse Falcon from Marvel. Uh, he saw that we were doing Kingpin, so. He, said oh you know shadow king head on that body would be great and then we thought well hey why don't we put it in with professor x and then we said well we don't want to leave deadpool out so i said we gotta have hydra bob's head in there his best friend thank you very much for that you're very welcome there's even a little bob sticker on the sticker sheet. you see the the wow, hover chair the, the panels open open up which is a nice touch to it and fresh Arts has his blanket have your figure and then a removable blanket so a lot of a lot of cool parts to this figure it even has like the cushion like the cushion yeah, the cushion in the back yeah, the cushion's got really nice texture to it the panels are awesome he's riding in style just gonna say he's in, in comfort man you gotta be and the stand can come off so you can put the chair on its own if you don't like that that stand or if you want to sit a little lower and you said Caliban is part of... Caliban is the Build-A-Figure for X-Men Wave in 2019. And Forge is also a new reveal for Forge, that, right? Forge yes. is in that wave as well. This King Piss. Awesome. So good. Thanks. Glad you liked <laughs> it. That was a fun one. So, question. You guys had teased uh, that Stan Lee uh, Build-A-Figure. And uh, I think it was like slated to come out, and you guys had pulled it back. Uh, was that a result of the news with him and uh, you some allegations, or yeah. what, what happened there? So we actually didn't tease it, and we can't unfortunately comment on images that aren't put out by us. Gotcha. Okay, so it was leaked, and yep. it wasn't. It wasn't uh, Thank you. something that you guys were going to even put out. No, not our images. Sorry. Gotcha. Are there plans for uh, Stanley at some point? Well, Hasbro did actually do an official Stanley as a Comic Con exclusive many years long, back. That was a long time ago. Um, but I think anything is possible in, in the future. You know, we'll, we'll look at it. Like we do all things. Thanks. Yeah. I've heard anything about the twelve-inch line this year. There, um, anything to hear about 12 in time? No new news um, besides the comic Wolverine and movie Black Panther that we did this year. Um, so no new news for the 12 inch scale. Do you, did you like that? I, I do. you have all of them? Yes. I Bobby, do. Bobby, you know. Yeah, that was them. my line. I love that line. People uh, ask me about those all the time. That's what I hear. 12 inch line. Yeah. Um, so you guys are continuing or not? I didn't catch that part. We haven't announced any. Okay. But you did like it. Yeah, no, those were cool, man. They harken back to way back with like 
toy biz, I believe. Icons, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was trying to think of the name of them. But those were cool back then, you know. Any they were ahead of... for play sets? What kind well, of play sets you have in mind? Well, you know, in uh, the first Iron Man movie, where Tony's changing his armor with the robot. The gantry, yeah. The gantry and all that. It'd be cool to have a figure that kind of some of the armor snaps off. Interesting. Yeah. Pops on to the thing. Stand, you know. Well, he walks into the tower, flies in, and it comes. Yeah, I was actually just walking. I mean, that's a yeah, last night it was, I was watching Age of Ultron. And yeah. he landed and he started walking. And it yeah, kind of just it just came. takes it off. Yeah. Folds in. It could be like the outside of the tower. Yeah, something. you never know. It's, it's something we can we can definitely look at in the future. You know, nothing's out of the realm of possibilities. I mean, you know, a master mold would be ridiculous. <laughs> Cardboard cut out, I guess you could do for that. Yeah. Pretty sure you're not the person that's asked for that. Even if it's just the head and the rest is like some kind of faked out. We did give you a Galactus engine. Yeah. Box for the Comic Con set. Oh. Galactus engine. Oh. Yep. And this is all one line, right? One wave. Not these. These guys are a two pack. Two pack okay. This is a wave. Gotcha. So those are the, that's Red Goblin and mm -hmm. the new symbiote from Dan Fox kind of thing. Right. Okay. You guys had to tease that at San Diego. And, and then the Black Silver Hat, Sable. Silver Sable. And then there's two that's not here. That'll be part of the Kingpin wave, right? There are a few more figures in this wave that we have not yet revealed, but we'll be doing so shortly. Okay. Six or eight? What is one? Seven. Seven. Did you say where Beta Ray Bill is going to land? We did not. We did not. He is um, someplace in 2019. That's a more modern take, huh? Mm -hmm. on, uh, on Bill, right? Yeah. But he will not be a Bill to figure someone to ask. Okay. You know what else would be really cool? If you guys did an Odin with a throne. Uh, there's a lot of thrones. Yeah, 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 like yeah. like movie Black Panther with a throne. I yeah. think it would be cool. I mean, so we, Nope. Where's stuff, that uh, so. second wave of Black Panther stuff going to land? That, that's coming out before end of year. So, yeah, we were dying to get the samples. Um, I think I actually just got a text that came in the office today. So oh, coming out the before year. the end of 2018? Yeah. Oh, okay. December-ish. Okay. But I think it'll, you know, you'll still see it into 2019 as well. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Yeah, thank you. You could always do a Milano in Simpson scale too. That would be interesting. It'd be pretty big, but we could yeah. be like this table. Size. Yeah. Anything else you guys got planned? Do uh, like they did the skip? Anything else you guys got planned as far as uh, army builders, like the uh, two packs or anything maybe new that you haven't done yet in terms of army builders? Maybe uh, X Men themed goons? We've talked about it. Yeah, I mean, we've, I believe, how many troop builders are we on? We did. Hydra, we're doing AIM this year. Hellfire yeah. Club, maybe? Maybe. Yeah, some Those are good ones. Yeah. yeah. Or here you can go. Those are suggestions people ask for, too. That has been something that you guys have done in the past, so it's nothing to update it, right? Interesting option. I guess if you guys ever kick around the, like, what, I forget what they call them for Star Wars, the Black Series stands that light up and stuff. The battle or something. Centerpiece? Centerpiece, Centerpiece yes. Did you guys ever think about it? Yeah, sorry. Did you guys ever think about that for. We've projects? thought about it. Yeah, there's the, there's a variety of different di approaches to dioramas. Um, so we're we'll continuing to look at it. Go ahead, man. No, he was leaning. I mean, because, like, when you're so deep into this line, you know, it's, you're going to run out. I mean, are you going to run out? I mean, there's so much that stuff. Pool, that character pool is deep. I don't yeah, see yeah, so. I don't know. <laughs> but movies, movies and comics. New movies, new movies coming out. Yeah. You got to find new ways to put out Iron Man and stuff like that. Though. So. We got to think. There's a lot of uh, modern day updates, and publication that yeah, we have to do. There's a lot of classic characters we have to get to do, movie characters we have to do. So the, like I said, the character pool is deep. So we have a lot, lot to go off of. It's almost overwhelming how much stuff you guys have to do. <laughs> to be honest, it's a lot. I was talking to Ryan earlier when we got the room set up, and it's like we're moving so fast on things, and we're working on so much stuff. It's like when you see it as a whole, sometimes it, it is kind of impressive, and Absolutely. you can see it being overwhelming. 
the amount. You know, that whole, that whole line, there was a meeting, and it was like, Marvel Studios is doing a 10-year anniversary. You guys should do something. And it's like, we think that's a great idea. And they, know, you know, like, so many figures. These I highly enjoy. This is how I wish they were just done like this, a little bit more money. So I guess the uh, the Black Order was the team that you guys were going to complete, that you teased. How about um, superior foes of Spider-Man? I only need one, one guy left to complete that team, the uh, uh, Overdrive. Any plans for them? Is he the last one? Is he the last one? Okay. We had like, who else do we have? Beatles, we have, uh, Speed Demon. Speed Demon. Um, who would you name just now? Beatles. Beetle. Boomerang, uh, Shocker. Boomerang, Shocker, right. Yeah. I'm sure that's. I'm sure Dwight's aware, or you're, well, well, Bobby's doing Spider-Man. You know, mine nowadays. Bobby took over Spider-Man I did. from D- Dwight's clutches. Yeah. So you can thank Bobby for uh, Kingpin here. Overdrive is an easy one. You can use the body from uh, the Spider-Man uh, Electro, the old Spider-Man Two Electro figure. Was it Spider-Man Two? Uh, the Andrew Garfield one, I think. It was. Oh, that one, yeah. This figure's perfect. I love it. Yeah, we knew that that one was a, a big fan ass. But when I took over the Spider-Man waves, I said, I, my first Build-A-Figure has to be Kingpin. Yeah, he looks great. What's up with the Thanos not having the armor? It was a little weird for me. Well, we, you know, uh, he did. He was in the movie the majority of the time. With, he was only in the armor yeah. for yeah, yeah, yeah. Like 30 quick, seconds. a quick scene, yeah. <laughs> it feels yeah. a, little, a little lacking without the armor for me. The version for the next Avengers movie. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. You guys could do the armored so. version and give us a little tiny Gamora. With a new sword. <laughs> Is this a different Thanos from the one that's in the uh So that's, the, that's the three pack version. The, okay. Yeah. So we uh, he was as a builder figure in the first wave of Avengers for this year, uh, and we got the opportunity to, you know, build a story with that set and offer Thanos again. But you know, after seeing the movie, we there were some things that, you know, we we were going off a different concept art at, at the time we you know produced that figure. So we looked at this as an opportunity to give a screen accurate update. So after I saw it, I said, okay, well let's, let's lighten his skin, and we added you know deco of the runes on his armor here. Gave him an updated grid of your head, open open hand, you know, changed the, the color of his pants. So now you have the, the exact screen accurate version of Thanos as he was in Infinity War. Same thing with Doctor Strange. You know, we mm-hmm. gave you that updated head, updated cape, we wanted to make sure that everything was, was accurate this time around. Request for an accessory, the glove by itself, and maybe push a button and the gems light up. <laughs> you know, like that one around? Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm talking about on the, an accessory in this scale for Marvel Legends. Or just a figure that, you know, push a button and the gems are You could probably use the Wave 1 Thanos okay, you know. build a figure and just, like, remove the arm yourself. You yeah, you probably drop that. it in some hot water, heat it up, and then pop that out. <laughs> Not one that lights up. One that lights up. That'd be a... To be able to put the PCB board and the, the batteries in there, that's pretty tiny. You guys can do it. <laughs> I'm glad you have the confidence in us. This is a hinged jaw? The jaw is hinged, yep. Spin them around, them around. Yeah. If we gave you a hinged jaw on three and three quarter, we could not give you a hinged jaw on six inch. <laughs> hinged jaw for Bill. So that's cool. That's an ode to old Toy Biz Legends. I'm sorry, you said more Black Panther by the end of the year, right? Late. I think that should be shipping, Wave 2 should be shipping December ish. Okay, thank you. We revealed that way? We did, we revealed in San Diego. Yeah. Is there a chance for any more PS4 Spider Man stuff, or would that have had to have been out for that game this year? Well, we know that, you know, with all the costumes and all the characters, that's that's definitely something we might want to leverage in the future, of course, because they're probably going to be doing constant updates. We know how popular the game is, so it's definitely 
Well, it's that popular, popular they put it on the damn Xbox One. <laughs> 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 I don't understand why it's exclusive PlayStation. It's something like Marvel's, like, universal, you know? How about, um, yeah. how about plans for um, the upcoming um, uh, Miles Morales Spider-Man movie? Any plans for figures from that? So uh, we have uh, a two-pack over there of uh, Miles and Gwen, which is based on the, the animated movie in the Legends line. Okay. And we've, it, you know, we've been uh, putting in some of the Spider-Verse characters based on the comic, you know, Spider-Verse story into the line. So we've got Spider-Ham, we did Spider-Punk, Noir, Noir. we did a 2099 in the Sandman wave, mm -hmm. like, so we're getting them out there. Uh, we did a Prowler in the Lizard wave as well. How about a miles with the uh, with the sneakers? Any plans for that? Put on once, sure. Sure. Maybe the Spider Punk sneakers, if they're different, I don't know. I know they tooled up Converse's for them. Yeah, swipe out the feet. That would be cool. So for that Spider's over there, we've got figures, role play, you know, uh, a play set, play set. <laughs> As far as uh, Deadpool corpse go, I guess we got Lady Deadpool, Headpool, the dog, the dog squirrel. Pool, squirrel pool. I think we're missing one person, right? Kidpool, maybe? Kidpool. Or two. Kidpool and the uh, bluish dude. Well, so they were in the taco set in three and three quarter scale. Yeah, so that, yeah. yeah, Champion of the Universe and Kidpool. Kidpool. Yeah. Well, that's a possibility. We got right? a, bunch of, a bunch to pick from. Deadpool seems to be kind of a popular guy nowadays. Yeah. The game reverse is that already released, or is there was just a pre-order? It was just a the three and three quarter two packs are coming out now. They've been they've been spotted, and then the game reverse six inch one should be out um, now. Yeah, October. Can I get in mind? Yeah. We do have the new chimichangas to, to the right there on the little pedestal. We have wave two uh, for today with uh, squirrel pool, lady Deadpool, Deadpool in a banana suit, pirate Deadpool, all kinds of craziness. an idea of how uh, the order that we'll see these things in 2019? Like calendar wise? Yeah, like so Spider-Man, the Kingpin Wave 1 will be first out of the gate and then the Riders will be Q1 as well. Uh -huh. We have Captain Marvel in Q1 which isn't here but you know about, you know about that wave and then uh, and then there's going to be some Avengers stuff in Q1 as well. And then X-Men in probably Q2, late springtime. So that's a kind of a good kind okay. of flow. Do we know how the Wendigo is being released? The Wendigo is a Build-A-Figure, and it is going to be in a fall to be announced type wave with Guardian, probably. <laughs> you might have gathered that from, from Canada. Yeah. Okay. So as far as that one more time about uh, Wendigo? So Wendigo is a build a figure in a to be announced fall wave next year, and Wendigo will be, or, sorry, I just said that, and then Guardian will be in that Wendigo build a figure. Gotcha. Yep. So Caliban is the, when you reference the second quarter X Men yep. wave, that's Caliban and Forge. So for the record, that's Forge, it's Gambit, Blink, Skullbuster. From Weapon San Diego X. and then Weapon X, okay. which we showed at Canada as well. So then a few more X Men characters, which we'll be revealing shortly. But this guy is like huge. <laughs> I forgot how big he was in the books. Yeah, it's kind of like strong guy size, would you say? <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, we, uh, we knew he was a 
long time is coming. Is he as popular as strong guy? Brian oh. and I, uh, <laughs> when we when we got kind of the, the green light to go ahead on Professor X, we were we ran. So you're in the strong guy camp too. We were I'm big, not big actually. Big fans of getting Oh really? So one more time on Caliban. He's gonna be part of. Um, He's the builder figure in the X Men wave of 2019. And we and what's the other figures that we know so far in that wave? Forge. Uh huh. Skullbuster, Blink, Gambit, and Weapon X. So what? Two more reveals maybe for that? A couple more reveals, yeah. I mean, if you did a strong guy, then you'd have to do like a more modern Madrox, you know, like the uh, T-shirt Madrox. <laughs> We'd have to do uh, X Factor Havoc. Have to do X Factor Polaris, and then we'll just a whole can of worms. Yeah. If you go strong guy, you know. <laughs> so I, I'm assuming you guys have plans to round out our, our '90s uh, X-Men team, right? Jim Lee style. Well, who's left? Well, Storm. We need, we need Beast. We need Beast. You guys definitely been working on some larger. I think we're definitely over mode. halfway through with uh, Professor X. We brought back Archangel. Yep. Yeah. So we're working on it. The question is, are, were you a blue fan or a gold fan? Uh, blue. I'm actually thinking more of like the Phoenix Saga, Dark Phoenix Saga, Storm. Like you haven't done like a classic Storm and then like her first appearance type. Mm. Yeah. There's just so many great versions of her costume, yeah. we have to do them one at a time. How about plans for uh, Lalandra, maybe? You guys teased that a very long time ago. Uh, now that you've done um, Gladiator two times, maybe uh, a Lalandra would be cool in some way. Some Shi'ar type Interesting, yeah. yeah. I don't expect you guys to go nuts doing the uh, that whole uh, team, but a Lalandra would be cool. Okay. We'll take that back. So go nuts if you want to go nuts. But. <laughs> Since the New Mutants movie is coming out next year, any chance we could bust out that Danny Moonstar figure from 2012? So I was <clears throat> telling the other group, like, a lot of times for figures that were shown but never shipped, I think you guys want, we hear you, you want the character, but you don't want that figure. Like, the, the way the articulation and the quality has improved. So we definitely know that she's a character that fans want. And now uh, we'll look to, to do her sometime. But uh, it's always like a better version, right? Songbird from this year was, in my opinion, much better than the version they showed just because you have so many more years to work on it. Yeah, that um, new, the new female body that we have is, is a much better update than the one that was on the, the Moonstar. What we still. I think the swivel biceps on the uh, screen figure. All right. Take the seven once you get to yeah, 47. Yeah, that part's easy. It'll allow you to figure out from here. Here, I gotta go. Where are we? Where are we? Are we? Uh, you could go to 51st from here and get the sixth uh, down to 42nd and then the seven back across to the Javits. It's a quick Which one do I get around here? The, you could get the sixth train at 51st Street from, from here. Yeah. That's probably the closest thing. Seven, just put that shirt out. This was San Diego. Was it? Yeah. Uh, right. Better GI Joe shirts in the whole time, so it's subtle too. That's a good, yeah, it's a good one. <laughs> it's the centerpiece of my Joe room at home. Yeah, definitely. The flag is awesome. Just need some six inch Joes to go with it. <laughs> it's not even in scale for three and three quarter. Yeah, it's okay. It'll still look good on the deck as like a you know split. Yeah, so it's the same 53rd if I get out of here. Yeah, 53rd or 51st is the same, it's the same uh, deal with station. Okay. Hopefully that'll change. 
And I'm just looking for like downtown. You go. Uh, we can walk over. I'm going back to the con right now too. So cool. I walk with you. Right. Um, you guys. Uh, damn it! I forgot what I was gonna say. So Red Goblin, we can see uh, it's got a tail attachment. It tends for females with tail attachments, like a squirrel girl. <laughs> I mean, Interesting. Yeah. If you were to do that yeah, character, you, better, would, you would have to have a tail. Have to <laughs> yeah. I mean, we couldn't do him without his tail for sure. So, we couldn't do Lizard without his tail. Sauron. So, if they have tails, probably bet we'll, we'll do them. If you're do doing different character heads packed in with the writers, any chance of uh, just like alternate heads for characters? Or even with regular like bath waves throwing in a, you know, just an alternate expression. Yeah, we you like see, Thanos, King, you know, he's we'll got look different. at look at the kingpin. So he he comes with alternate heads. We've oh, done he all, we've, we've done right. a lot of alternate heads in the past. Yeah, yeah, we don't do it all the time, but you know, we definitely put them in when we did like onslaught with Rogue mm -hmm. a couple years ago. Case, uh, case the the cat wolf. Scratch that yeah. question. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, we like we like to do that. Yeah, the ham head that was. With that yeah. Well, you know what? This uh, black cat head, I guess you could swap that out for the older one that you guys put out. It, are the pegs the same? Um, I'll have to check if the pegs are the same on that one. That's an older body, so we'll just see if it got, ch if it got changed. But we that, think that that head sculpts a nice new update. And what was the uh, the deal with this Craven? What look what, uh, were you guys going for? So here? that was from the Craven's Last Hunt okay. storyline. Um, this right, it makes was, sense since you put yeah. them out with the black suit. Yeah, this one was a more <laughs> a more classic version than the one we put out in what 2015. 2016? Yeah, he's got the, the Chinese slip. That from the Rhino build a figure wave. Right. The face was like very like stoic. stoic yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. A much more animated expression there. So same same buck though. You probably be able to swap those heads too for uh, for Craven, right? Yeah, it's I'm new belts too. Is it's a new belt, yeah, but that that should be the same body. Form. Presumably, you'll get a costume. Yes. 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 Is Craven Side uh, exclusive to somewhere? Or? We are not revealing that yet, but it'll be a two pack. Is this definitely the end for the uh, Marvel Studios 10 line? I'm sorry? Is this definitely the end of the uh, 10 years of Marvel Studios it's, line? It's the end of the line, meaning. This, this was a celebration for 2018, but we're always looking for opportunities to go back and do more movie figures that we you know, didn't get to or from previous films. Who would you like to see? Well, a couple of people have told me to ask uh, if you guys are aware that they'd like a Quicksilver. <laughs> He's one of my favorites too. I, keep, I bring him up every time. Um, so yeah, hopefully we can get him sometime. I would love to do an Odin one day. Yeah. Yeah. Odin. MCU Odin. Definitely. Definitely that. That would be great. Well, because you've got hello. Redo Odin. them all. Redo them all. Really. Like, all the Valkyries. Like, they could all be redone in that style. That'd be a good uh, candidate for maybe one of the riders too. If you do a Valkyrie, you do a horse. Oh, horse. Mm. Really good. We never got a Warriors 3 in MCU, did we, for four? Just, uh, no, the only one we got was the Sith. I can't remember what the heck I was going to ask you. It'll come to me as soon as I leave. So how many more shows do you guys have for the calendar year? That's what I was going to ask. <laughs> <laughs> We have, uh, so we're on the live stream later today for like a few more reveals. Sarah and they'll have the images to d distribute after. And then we're at three conventions in Europe at the end of October. So it's Paris, Comic Con, London, MCM Comic Con, really? and Luca. So you guys are going to have a great time in Paris, huh? Just hanging it's, out. It's a week of jet setting around. It's going to be crazy. But uh, we're fortunate that, you know, Hasbro is going to be at these conventions in a big way. So, so one reveal per. Uh, at uh, least event? one. How about that? Okay. Yeah. So you said three more, right? Yep. Okay. Then we get to take a break, and then it's we'll see you back uh, back here in New York and for Toy Fair Toy in Fair. February. Okay.
So at least three more reveals between now and uh, and Toy Fair. You guys also do like fall Toy Fair type thing for industry, right? For for fall? Yeah. Isn't there like a Toy Fair for just industry? I don't. Not that. I'm not gonna no, it's just the one in February. February. Okay. Yeah. I think they moved the buyer show to like Texas or something like that. Uh -huh. That's what, yeah, I know what you're yeah, saying. Toy Fair used to be fire, but then they split it yep. to where fall, but then New York Comic Con came along, and now the buyer thing is like the licensing shows in Vegas. I think the yeah. buyer show might be in Vegas too. Yeah, like maybe it is. Yeah. That's why Toy Fair isn't as branded anymore. They don't have to sell us anything. <laughs> You said you guys are going back over to the con just for the live stream, right? No yes. actual um, setup or anything? No, yet. we don't okay. have a, a booth there. Okay. <clears throat> so we'll probably see you walking around later this afternoon. Are you going to do a wider release for the Netflix Iron Fist? Uh, from the same, from the Comic-Con? Uh, not at this time. So currently, uh, Colleen and Danny have got to get the Defenders Rail Authority box set. Any hints about more Netflix figures in general? Any hints? Sure. I mean, well, I feel like we've we've done a lot. We we completed the Defenders team, like with the Comic Con set. Um, mm -hmm. If they do new shows, we'll look at it. You know, we've we know Daredevil's coming back, Punisher's coming back. Uh, it was a popular uh, wave in '17, so it's, it's on the list of things. Yeah. Anyone you would like to see? I haven't seen the new. New seasons of everything coming up, right? So, yeah. Close see gets if, if, if that's close high. If that's close high. <laughs> if that's, that's close yeah. How does that work with the new Disney channel? Net Netflix keeps what Marvel shows they had, right? But like anything else they decide to do, they have to get like the green light through Disney. I don't, yeah, I'm, I'm not quite sure. I know, you know that Disney's doing their own. Yeah. They're taking all their stuff. I man. believe they're taking their content back, but Netflix stays. But that's just, I believe that's from what's going on, but I don't know. Yeah, that's what I was trying to figure out. Yeah. Like, can they do another Marvel thing? You know? We have about five minutes left. Do you want to get in some last minute photos or last minute questions? Is there any reason that we couldn't get to Netflix Kingpin? So, talk, I mean, it's like, which one do you want? We got to do one version. But the classic one was, you know, uh, Probably goes with more of your collection, but I love that character in the Netflix universe as well. Vincent D'Onofrio is like so intimidating, <laughs> and uh, I guess he'll be back in season three from the teasers. And maybe maybe he's a good one to add to. When, when's the uh, Captain Marvel stuff due again? Captain Marvel Wave will be coming out in January, and we haven't revealed the full line for that one yet. Okay, so so far we've seen Captain Marvel. Uh, You've seen Captain Marvel, you've seen Young Nick Fury, which was mm -hmm. super fun. You've seen a Star Force commander, and you've seen Talos, the Skrull character mm -hmm. that they announced. And then the build a figure for that wave is the comic Cree Sentry from the Mexico reveal earlier, so, earlier this so year. So the Skrull character, he's like the main villain, basically. Yeah, so his name is Talos. He's the character that Ben Mendelsohn, they announced, is playing uh, in the Entertainment Weekly story. Gotcha. Yeah. Did you tell us how many figures in that wave? That one is is going to be seven, but we've seen four of them. Seven including a build figure? Seven, no. Not including.
Thanks for coming. Yeah, no Thanks, guys. Thank See you. you next Thanks, time. Thanks, guys. And just a reminder on the 4 p.m. embargo on all this. Okay, so nothing posted till 4, right? Correct. Yep. Okay. Yes. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having us. Oh, sorry. Yep. Thanks a lot. Take care. Thanks. Thanks. I can't wait for that. Awesome. <laughs>